chairmen and women of Dunedin's community boards were recently elected to head the six member groups that advocate for the areas outside the central city. Steve Walker is the new chairman of the Chalmers Community Board, the former deputy taking the role following the retirement of long-term chairwoman Jan Tucker. Steve joins us tonight as part of a series of interviews introducing the chairmen and women of those boards. Good evening, Steve. Good evening. Thank you for having me. Now tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do. Yep. Um, Moved here to New Zealand in 2002, uh, permanently to Port Chalmers in 2003 with my wife. Uh, involved pretty much since my arrival with uh, lots of community groups and currently that's ongoing and play a lot of golf and entering my fifth year as the club captain at the beautiful Port Chalmers Golf Club, uh, writing regular column columns for the Rossi News, which is a wonderful community paper. Um, yeah, so very much finger in many community pies. Mm. Now, how did you get involved in local community politics? Um, hard one to answer, but I think um, probably a result of me turning up at a lot of submissions and uh, uh, public forums. And in fact, I do recall Ross Davis, who used to be on the Chalmers Community Board, saying, Steve, why don't you try and get on the other side of the table? So I think three triennials ago, I did that mm. and got elected. Now, what is it about the role of chairman that attracts you? Um, again, a hard question to answer because the board, as a board, obviously elects me as the chair. Um, and we're very fortunate, I think, in the, Ca the Chalmers uh, board area that we have a very, a very um, good group of people who work really well together. And in terms of being attracted, I'm just, I guess, delighted that they decided that I was the right person for the job. Mm. And tell us about Chalmers. What area does that take in? Yeah, it takes in basically. It, runs from Ravensbourne through to Aramoana, so you're going from uh, Ravensbourne, Burks, uh, St. Leonard's, Meyer, uh, Roseneath, um, Sawyer's Bay, obviously Port Chalmers, out to Kerry's Bay, Waipuna Bay, Hamilton Bay, right out to Aramoana, and then across the top through Blueskin Road to Osborne, Purukanui, and and uh, Long Beach, so I guess in essence the most beautiful parts of Dunedin, <laughs> so we're very lucky. What are some of the major issues facing those areas? Uh, I guess like all boards there's ongoing issues, um, but I'd say in the Chalmers board area there's probably, I could put my finger on three, maybe four. Um, the completion of the cycle walkway, which has completed so far to St. Leonard's, uh, is probably makes up one in two questions I get asked when I'm on the streets. So I'd love to see that uh, NZTA have been very, very cooperative until now. Um, and hopefully in the 2015-18 round we'll get that completed. Obviously safety issues in Port Chalmers High Street, which again is an ongoing issue. And I think on 21st December we're getting a speed reduction down to 30 k's, which is fairly unique for a state highway. Um, also the policing levels in Port Chalmers is an ongoing issue, which uh, you'll hear probably more about early New Year. And yeah. So it's plethora of issues, but um, in, in general I think the ward area is going very well. Mm. Now what about your future in local politics? Do you think you'll be wanting a seat on the uh, City Council at some stage? Uh, again, hard question to answer. <laughs> um, watch this space perhaps? Watch this space, but I'd like to still be involved very much in the local mm. Chalmers politics. Yep. Steve Walker, Chairman of the Chalmers Community Board, thank you very much thank for you your for time. Thank you for having me. Great. After the break on 39 Dunedin News, some local trike riders are close to getting a new trike track. And the results of this week's online poll are in. Details next.